Episode 10, we're moving forward. Uh, we are attacking Shabar right now, which is the other city that the French has. Close to my area, of course. And it's very important to take it down as soon as possible. And yeah, I will take that. <laughs> now artillery with infiltration, naval support. I think that's a good idea. I think we're doing pretty good. That's why I'm attacking. There you go, see? Now all my artillery units are gonna get stronger. I'm sure the next one, after attacking, and if I'm able to defeat the defense, I should be able to... Yes. Beautiful. Alright, alright, alright. They're getting better, they're getting better. Yeah, I think the tank can take care of the rest. So just a little bit more infantry in there, left. Hmm, I guess fighter. <laughs> Let me go with a regular. Regular tank, just in case something happened. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, I <laughs> just can imagine how how, is, how you can aim the <laughs> a fighter with a tank. But it's just to go, oh, okay, the tank against the the great person, awesome. Alright. The chair bug is ours. We can whew, deep breath a little bit. But not for too long before unfortunately Mr American decide to start launching some parts of the space station. So I believe that could be trouble, so we're gonna try to to avoid that. <laughs> not really sure yet how we're gonna do that, but let's now just start moving some units. The only good thing that I if he send the the this uh, space station to Alpha Centauri, I still have time to go and try to capture their capital, right? If I capture the capital on time, I'll be in good shape, right? But now, honestly, we're not gonna wait for that. <laughs> we can't wait for that, right? That's why we're recording this stuff, trying to make it emotional and everything. So I could have just easily sit down and just wait for for go for a culture win, right? So we're just trying to make more interesting the game because I, I'm sure I, w I will be able to. Ooh, the Roman again, really? I thought you were dead, dude. Oh. <laughs> wow, they're launching something else. That's not good. That is not good. And you're building way too fast. And remember, after he launched the station, I'm only gonna be able to get there in like a six turns or something like that. So mm. difficult, but we got another great person, which is great. That was part of the my friend Roman that he provided me all the support <laughs> and the free great persons. I appreciate that. I was trying to rush and see if I can get into. Um, in the space race, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get there on time. Ah, let me think about it. I will probably give you electronics, and you're not gonna bother me for a few turns. Eh, why not? All right, French, we are in peace. Let's re respect that and um, get ready for some real action. Because now it's time to move against the American. Okay, we can let that dude <laughs> win this game that easily. Okay, so so what is, what do we have left? Japanese, American, and hmm, probably that's it, right? Okay. Yeah, for a, for a second I got a a flashback thinking that there was another civilization hanging around, but now yeah. Now I'm right. Okay, so let's start moving the troops. I know this is the slow part, the boring part. When the I don't know what is your guys' opinion or girls' opinion, but uh, sometimes when you get to this point in the game, it gets a little bit I won't say boring, but unfortunately, the control the Xbox is not friendly at this stage of the game, 
right? You have too many units. Uh, you need to move a lot of armies, and unfortunately, it doesn't do it. it. Doesn't do it. It's not like a. I, I wish they can just probably select all the units in one tile, so that will make my life a lot more simple. Unfortunately, it's not like that. <laughs> and uh, I don't, I don't see any patch coming anytime soon, or probably never fixing that. But anyway, that's. Just do what we can and enjoy every second of this game. Even if it's for a lot of people think it's obsolete. No, sir. It's a lot of games that are actually die in just a couple of weeks on Xbox right now. Or in all the con in all the console, right? Because they release too many games. But in this case, uh, this game is come on, for how long? At least two years? At least two years that we've been playing this. And we still love it, so this is one of those keepers. I mean, I have a big collection of games, but I'm trying just to keep the ones that I, I know that I'm going to go back and play it again and play it again. I know I'm a big fan of uh, single player games. As you guys probably know, I like more the multiplayer action. So, I got most of the shooters and all the stuff. But there is some also, there is a couple games that I love so much that I don't mind if I play it once or a lot of times, right? This is one of these games. Uh, another game is, is probably Dead Space. I love Dead Space. What can I say? Both. And now that the third one is coming, <laughs> I can't wait. But in general, it's very hard for me to just lay down and play that single player game. I like to be more. Oh my god, we are. Oh, we're getting close to start building the War Bank, too. This is getting very interesting, right? <laughs> can't really complain about it. We're very, very close to achieve the... Yeah, let's settle in there. To start building the World Bank or the United Nations. So, hmm. so far so good. I hope you guys are enjoying the game. Same way I'm doing it. I'm not sure if it's going to be... Well, the American race sent a couple parts, so uh, they can probably start sending them station in. Let's say probably two, three turns, depending of how shitter is this stupid computer. <laughs> but uh, otherwise, it was a, it's been a little bit more relaxed than the the previous game for the Arab, <laughs> which was crazy. <laughs> but that, well, that's make the the game more interesting. So let's steal some gold so we can. Ooh, nice, 400. Not too bad. Wow, Japanese might be pissed by now. <laughs> so I can get all this stuff and probably start building the war bank, right? That would be a good way to end this game. And that would be one of the ways. Hey, it looks cool. Moving all my naval units in one direction. Yes. Nice. I'm trying not to move all the units in one tile. The only reason is because, well, some units like the submarine are way too slow. So uh, if I wait for them, the game will be <laughs> will be lost by now. But let me see. Yeah, let's go back to the bank. Because I need to just start getting gold, 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 gold. Because, um, again, it's not going to be as close probably as the Arab game. But it's still going to be a very difficult end. So see, we have 8,000 pieces of gold away to start building the world bank. Um... And that's good. <laughs> so now is the switching time, right? Um, I will say that this is nothing compared to a later game playing Civilization Four or Five, especially Four. Oh my God, Four was so long. I remember we were playing for. I mean, when they released the game, uh, I remember I got together with a couple of friends. Uh, oh my God, I think we played straight for hours, and I. I'm not a big fan to do all those kind of things, but uh, it was it was <laughs> it was completely necessary to do a LAN party and and play some Civilization. Oh my God, the game was unbelievable! I still love it. And uh, you gotta keep an eye on Steam. I know I, I, most of my games, almost of my recording, are console games, but uh, I'm also I will recommend you guys to take a look to what Steam is doing with the computer gaming. Yeah, because uh, they released some good uh, stuff. Right? Uh, actually, the a couple of days ago, 
they have on sale uh, Civilization 4 with all the expansions for I don't I don't even know I think it was like a I don't even remember I think it was like a 17 bucks for all the the, the games it's crazy right um, so I got all the expansion for four or five um, just trying to think how the hell are we gonna do the recording for those games <laughs> gonna need a lot of coffee so somebody on a coffee place uh, that's a good time to start talking people because we're gonna need it <laughs> alright so far so good um, I don't even know what else to talk about this I think it's been a long game so you guys already know everything about the Spanish right 15 cities not too bad and uh, we got control of the couple of the big ones which is great the only thing that is concerning right now is Washington and who knows what the Japanese is doing too Ooh. okay so the American also got submarines and everything so it's gonna be looks like it's gonna be a rough battle but we just need to get ready whatever it takes right whatever it takes yeah Saragossa it's been a amazing city yeah well uh, again it's something that we need to start talking later Oh really? Okay, now that I'm getting close, everybody wants to find me. Bring him on. Actually, you don't know, but I'm going against you, buddy. <laughs> I'm not gonna wait for that submarine get that close to my battleship. I actually, I'm already have a battleship waiting outside Washington to provide some support. Now, the only thing is you need to be careful because now that I was trying to get there before getting in war because it's too risky, right? Sometimes you can get in trouble the computer is gonna start cheating and unfortunately that will I don't know that will create some headaches because they can actually get a make an ambush and destroy your units that in <laughs> they're in a fleet of cruisers or battle chips so we don't want to take any chances that's why I was moving that many fleets in different groups right but so far so good let's see we can start moving closer because Washington is my next target, buddy. Pum pum. Yes, some bomber fleets. That's good. A very, very, very good defensive unit, the bomber. Ah, very good attacking unit too. So something very important to consider. Oh my God! I saw a fleet of submarines in there. That's not good. The only good thing is that they're slow, but I don't appreciate having all my troops. At least I put them in more in those. Uh, look at that submarine, <laughs> slow as hell, damn it! I put all my troops in those uh, battle chips, so they are a little bit more protected than if I put in a cruiser. Right, the cruiser will go down. They'll sink in a second against the submarine, and especially Daddy. You know, the computer always add that extra shitter <laughs> spice, so. I don't want to take any chances. All right. Wow. Come on. Really? Oh my God. I. You know. I. I won't be surprised if the wrong. Ah. You see. Whoa. Thank God my troops are not in there because those cruisers are going down. Wow. Really with a galleon. <laughs> okay. I. I want to see the fight. That. That will be something. Yeah, let me take care of the submarine because if they are attack, they're deadly. They're defending. They're a joke. So it's a no-brainer. Just gonna go for here and then over there. I'm sure my battleship will be able to handle that galleon. I hope so. <laughs> that would be funny if we lost that fight. Actually, if we lost that fight, I might need to probably edit the video <laughs> because that would be completely insane. I'm sure you get the. Okay, now we have our first another fleet of battle ships, and I guess there is a different. <laughs> That's good. That's good. 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 We're so close to Washington. Um, I don't know how the hell Washington can survive if I start moving my bombers and I get some uh, naval support, and I'm hopefully very soon gonna be able to to land all my my units. All my tanks, artillery, and all kind of stuff. Oof. In the meantime, I can see that the Roman is 
still spending some borders. That sounds like a lie to me. <laughs> but anyway, okay, that's summer ring. Get that. I should sell those guys. Damn it. It's a shame. Real shame. Well, well, I'm gonna try to make the next video probably the last of the Spanish. Depending on how we do it. But let's continue in the next one.